What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Next Level channel. Good morning, happy Monday. Hope you guys are kicking ass out there. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite new stunts and that's the downhill hop under. Let's get into it. All right, the downhill hop under. I gotta give credit to Caleb Kosturki. Caleb is for sure been an innovator and a lot of this on the hillside gymnastics that we're seeing that is becoming so popular. What's really cool about all of these stunts because there, there are situations where I would say that they're tools for the toolbox. Like if you were ever in a spot where you're riding up your hill climbing and you thought plan A had an out and it didn't and you were completely bottlenecked, being able to pull the sled up and hop under and literally change direction. Instead of like a hop over, a bow tie or anything because it's going across the hill, this is a move that if you were going up the hill and needed to change direction, didn't have room to just make a loop out turn, we could pirouette, we could re-entry or we could downhill hop under. So it's an awesome, awesome trick that can turn into potentially a necessity given the riding area that you're in. So we're gonna break this thing down and what's so cool about the downhill hop under is that for me it's sort of the precursor or what would prepare you for re-entries of pirouette because the maneuver and the the idea of gaining confidence allowing that sled to rear up literally coming over backwards onto us but then making that quick move to opposite foot forward it sort of protects us in a way and it prepares us for those bigger tricks for later. Yeah, just like that. You guys notice, so remember, we'll go back to videos like we always do, and I feel like that's been helpful for a lot of people. As I approach the hill, my feet are back, my body is forward. I go up the hill with some momentum, but then notice the hesitation, right? So just like when we talked about doing a re-entry, doing a pirouette, even doing a hop over, there's a moment. There's a moment there where I let off the gas, I'm on a relatively steep hill, and then I get back on the gas, same time I'm pulling back. And here's the secret to all of this. It's where I'm looking. As I pull back, I commit to that left side. I know that's the direction I wanna go. And my head is what moves, right? You guys have always heard in gymnastics and all of these things, what the head does, the body follows. Guys doing flips, front flip, back flip, whatever it ends up being, we lead with our heads. So where people get caught is they'll go up the hill, they'll hesitate on the throttle, give it gas, they'll pull back, but then they wet cat. They just stay there. They don't move their body, they don't look where they wanna go, and then that creates, well, a potentially dangerous situation where we either mouse trap ourselves, sled coming right over backwards onto us. Remember, I'm gonna lead with my head, commit to the direction I wanna go, and then that sled is gonna naturally wanna move that direction, and then I begin the downhill hop under. So once I'm up in the air, once I know that sled is up and now I am committed, right? The sled is coming over backwards. I've got to be patient where you're going to mess this trick up. Not unlike when people are doing a hop over, they try to hurry. There's a moment there where we got to let that sled be up in the fall line, nearly teetering where it's going to come over backwards. Then I make that transition. Again, I'm looking and leading with my head and then I'm making that hop over, right? It's a hop under. I'm coming down the hill over the seat, putting that right foot, if I'm doing a left, a left side hop under, putting my right foot onto that running board. And then it's just back into side hilling 101, right? As I come back down, there was a time there. As I land, I burn brake, right? I can pop brake, make sure that I'm good to go. And then boom, I just start my side hill headed off into that left side side. <laughs> All right guys, hope you liked the video. The downhill hop under, the downhill hop over, whatever we're calling that thing. Thank you again, Caleb Kosturki and Kyle and a lot of dudes that are out there. Uh, Johan from over in Sweden. I've been watching and studying you guys and the things that you guys are doing and some of it feels like it's sort of set up. 
and what we did today was certainly like a setup move but it's so cool when you're seeing somebody side hilling along and they get to a spot where you can tell they've got no more momentum going one way using that downhill hop under and getting going the other way what a great tool for the toolbox so whether it's a tool whether it's a fun stunt i certainly enjoy doing it again i hope you guys love the video leave those questions and comments below we appreciate you guys' subscriptions as well as all of the feedback to the channel. It is truly what is keeping this channel going. We'll see you guys next time.